Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Antoine. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. If you end up enjoying the content here, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you also hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified when new content is available. And if you'd like to keep up with me and receive even more encouragement from me, go ahead and follow me on the gram. I am posting consistently over there to encourage you. Today, we got lots to talk about. If you are a wife, this is definitely for you. If you know that you are going to be a wife, this is definitely for you. Even if you're not sure if you're going to be a wife or not, you can still apply some of these things to your life today. Okay, we know the story of Adam and Eve, right? In Genesis chapter 3, I mean, they're also in other parts of Genesis, but in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible speaks of the fall. The fall of man to be exact, and it all started with a woman, good old Eve, right? But we can't judge her because we mess up every day. Anyway, in the story... So they were in this garden, right? God planted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. God put them in a garden and they could eat from any tree in the garden except for a specific tree. God told them not to touch it. God said, you can't eat from it or you will die. So then here comes a snake in the garden. Y'all know the snake is the devil, right? He's speaking to Eve. He's just like, did God really say that you couldn't eat from any tree in the garden? And Eve was like, well, God said we could eat from any tree in the garden, but except for that tree over there. If we eat from that tree, then we're gonna die. Satan was telling Eve, you're really not gonna die. You're gonna become like God knowing good and evil so eve ended up taking from the tree she ate it and she even gave some to her husband adam and he ate some after they ate from the tree they realized they were naked and then they heard god coming so then they hid and then god was like why are you hiding from me and adam was like oh my gosh i'm naked and so since he was naked he wanted to hide and then god was like well how'd you know you were naked did you eat from the tree i told you not to eat from and so then adam's like well the woman gave it to me the woman gave me the fruit and so then god asked eve what have you done? And so then she replies by saying, well, the serpent deceived me and so I ate it. And so then God goes down the list starting with the serpent, the snake, and cursing him. And then God goes to Eve and gives her a punishment and then goes to Adam and then he receives a punishment as well. And if you wanna go in the Bible, it's in chapter three, but there's a list of curses and there's a list of punishments for Adam and Eve and the serpent. Now that I've told you the story, I wanna ask you, what are you giving your husband to eat? What kind of fruit are you giving him? Are you giving him fruit that's gonna to lead to a blessing or are you giving him fruit that's gonna to lead to a curse or a punishment? Eve's disobedience to God affected her household. It, it, it didn't just affect her, it affected her household. It affected her and Adam and our disobedience to God will affect our whole household. It won't just affect us, it will affect our whole household. James 3.17 tells us that we should offer wisdom filled with good fruit. Well, what is that good fruit? The good fruit is found in Galatians 5. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. That is the type of fruit that we should be offering our husbands. One big thing that I'm learning in marriage right now is that a woman can either build her house or tear it down. Just like Eve had so much influence over Adam, I mean, just, just think about it. The fact that he took the apple, like God God told him not to eat from it but he took the apple or i'm saying apple the fruit whatever fruit it was he took the fruit from eve and he ate it think about the influence that she had on him now we have to think about it we have that same influence we have influence over our husbands and when we don't use our influence in a godly way like service or peacemaking that's when we hand over the forbidden fruit to our husbands that we were never supposed to even touch and god then asked us the same question that he asked eve what have you done what is this that you have done why did you respond in this way why have you moved in this way do you see what you have caused like eve who said it was the serpent the serpent deceived me and i ate like eve you may say well i listened to this voice i listened to this thought i was overcome by emotion and it deceived me in the moment but i now realize that that i was deceived i now realize that i did wrong in the moment i thought it was the best way to act in the moment, I thought it was the best way to rebuttal, but I now understand that I was deceived. Sis, we have to know the truth. We have to know the truth of God. I've heard someone say before that there's a snake in every garden. So in your home, you have to know that there is a snake slithering around, putting thoughts in your mind, making you feel certain ways, feeding you lies about your husband and your marriage and y'all's purpose together. Satan is going around feeding you lies. You have to know that he is the liar. You have to know that he is the deceiver. He is, that's, that's who he is. That is his character to lie to you, to trap you, to, to get you to fall into a trap. He wants you away from God. He wants you falling into sin and he doesn't want you to have a good relationship with God nor your husband. He wants you away from Eden. He wants you to experience curse after curse and punishment after punishment. Adam and Eve were sent out of Eden and that's where Satan wants us as well. 
He wants us out of Eden. He wants us out of a good relationship with God. He wants us living in sin. But you've got to know the truth. You've got to know the truth of God. You've got to know what the Bible says about your marriage. You've got to know what the Bible says about your husband. You've got to know what the Bible says about you. You've got to know what the Bible says about y'all's purpose together. You've got to know what God's word says. When Satan comes to whisper a lie to you, don't be like Eve who fought back once and said, well, God actually said this. She, she repeated back what the Lord said. She said truth. She said truth only once though. She said truth only once though because Satan came at her with a lie and she didn't fight back with the truth of God. I'm gonna need y'all to actually pull out your Bible and read Genesis chapter three because Satan spoke to her and she said the truth. She said the truth. She, sa she said what God said once, but then he spoke to her again and he, he fed her a lie, but she didn't fight back with the word of God again. She fell into temptation. Y'all, we gotta be like Jesus. You remember when he was, in the Bible it says that he was tempted by Satan. Satan threw all these things at him, but guess what Jesus did? He used the word of God to fight back. And I this is, this is a reminder for me and everyone else out there who's watching this video to use the word of God to fight back to fight back for your marriage, to fight back for your peace, to fight back for the peace in your home, to fight back, just to fight back, to fight Satan back and send him on his way because he is not allowed in your home. Jesus fought back with the word of God multiple times and he told Satan to leave him alone. He told Satan to leave him alone and Satan left. When Satan comes at us to feed us lies, we have to use the word of God. So it's extremely important for us to know what God has said. We, we have to know what God has spoken into our lives about our marriage. We have to know what God has spoken into our lives about our union with our husbands. We have to know what God has said. And when we know what God has said, we have to speak it out. We have to declare it. And when Satan is trying to whisper a lie to us, we have to declare the truth of God out loud as much as we need to. Yes, as much as we need to so that our actions will end up glorifying God and also blessing our husband. Again, the fruit that we hand to our husbands can either be a blessing to him or it can end up affecting him in a negative way like cursing him or punishment or you know it just it affects our disobedience affects the whole household just like it affected Adam it didn't just you know stay with Eve it affected the whole household your disobedience can affect the whole household I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much more. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with someone else to encourage them. I hope you all have a super blessed day and a super awesome week. I'll see y'all again in the next video. Bye. Peace. <laughs>